Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you are subscribed and also follow me on Instagram because it would mean the world to me. Today's video is a little different because it's gonna be kind of like an experience story time. I just wanted to share the story because not many people talk about their experiences with bigger YouTubers and I kind of just wanted to tell mine. And this isn't bad or anything negative so I just want to put that out there. Um, also too I'm filming at night which is crazy because I always film during the day and it's just a little different. So this all started back in 2019 and I was looking for jobs. It was in 2019 that I just wanted to like explore and just see what was out there. And I had followed this YouTuber. I don't want to say their name because I don't know. I just don't feel comfortable, but <coughs> something stuck in my throat. So I'm not going to say the YouTuber's name, but you guys, if you've been around on YouTube and followed the, like the lifestyle beauty guru, people then it's not gonna be that hard to figure out which youtuber i'm talking about i still watch her today and i love her content like i get a lot of inspiration from her still it was just a really really cool thing that i got to even like interview with her company back on topic i don't have any notes or anything so this is just really like random and stuff um that's why this video might be like all over the place so I saw that they were looking for a social media manager and I was like, oh my gosh, what if like I applied? Why not, right? And I know that the description said you had to be on location, like it couldn't be virtual. So I was like, I would totally move to the state um, just to have a new experience and like work for one of my favorite YouTubers. Like that would be so cool. So I was at my friend's house for a little bit and I think they were like away because I remember I was alone. So I got my resume and I attached it and I sent it off to um, the YouTuber's mom and I just wrote like, I actually might still have the email. I'm gonna see if I still have the email. I do, okay. So I'm just gonna kind of read to you the thread um, I'll put a screenshot and blur out the information just so you guys know it's true. Like, I don't know. So I said, hi. And then I mentioned the woman I sent the, um, resume to. My name is Alex Blankenship and I'm interested in the social media slash content manager position. I would be the best candidate for this position because I have been producing content for social media platforms for about three years. I did freelance, so I had about, I don't know how many clients, but I had a couple. I have been freelancing for small businesses in the Orlando area, running their social media, as well as creating video slash photo content for, for a local TV station. Oh, I must have already been, I must have been just like freelance at the place I work now, so that's interesting. I said, I have a passion for interacting with an online audience and helping a company grow their customer base. I am willing to relocate and I'm currently looking for full-time employment. So at that time I was looking for a full-time job and come around full circle. Like now I just accepted a full-time position, which is like kind of weird to like look back on. And then I said, I've attached my resume and here is the link to my portfolio. And then I just linked my website. And then I said, thank you so much for your time. And then she responds and I was like so excited, right? So she responds and it says, hello, Alex. Thank you for your interest in our social media content manager position. I am interested in interviewing you via phone regarding this position. Please let me know what your availability is this week for a call. I look forward to speaking with you. And then best in her name, which is like so cool. Like I was like, oh my gosh, like I'm talking to this influencer's mom. Like, oh. granted I did meet them at a meetup. So I'm like, I wonder if she still remembers me, but I don't know. Like it had been like obviously a long time. So anyway, and then I respond and I said, the best time for a call this week would be Friday afternoon around 1 or 2 Eastern Standard Time because the time differences are different. And then she, I said, please let me know if this works for you. My number is, and then I give her my number. And then she said, Alex, let's schedule for Friday 
at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will speak with you then. And I was like, that's so cool. Um, and then we basically had our interview and I think she asked me about like five questions. One of the questions was like, where do you see yourself in five years? And then another one was like, what do you do at the TV station? And then she asked like, do you have any questions? And I asked, would benefits be provided? Because I would be interested in like having a benefits if I'm working full time. And the answer that she gave me back then, like it could have changed now, but they did not provide benefits. So you would just be like, you know, you would have to buy your own insurance. And then another question was like, what salary would you think be fair? Like she asked me something about like how much money would I want for like my position. And I was like about like 30,000. I mean, I basically said like, I need to be able to sustain myself in a different state because I wouldn't be in Florida. So that is what the interview was like. And they were so professional on the phone. Like she had her assistant with her. You could tell that they were like taking notes and just interested in my experience and everything. I think what made me a probably like least likely to get hired by this company is um, my location because I would have to like move all across the country pretty much for this position and for the role it was, maybe they probably didn't think it was that worth it for me to like up and move. It was just so cool because like, again, still like she's one of my favorite YouTubers still today and just like getting the opportunity and having um, um, like her mom be interested in me. It made me feel like so special and cool. And I think they're doing a great job now. So like whoever got picked, it was just, it was really cool. And I know that I'm just not meant to be in that state probably. And maybe that's why as well. I've been waiting to tell this story just because uh, I just wanted to like give it some time. It's not like fresh news, but um, if you guys want to guess who it is, like leave in the comments. Again, it's pretty obvious like the things that I've said. So anyway, I think if another position came up where like a YouTuber was looking for someone to work for them and I like genuinely loved the YouTuber and like loved their content and like have been following them for a while, which isn't a lot of people hypothetically let's say like Karen from like KK and Baby J said like, oh, do you want to work for us like doing photography? I would be like, oh my gosh, yes. Because I don't know, like it's just cool to like have people that you watch and follow and support like notice you, uh, talk to you, just like anything like that. Um, I don't put these people like on like pedestals um, my mindset's not really like that. Um, I get excited, obviously, but like, do I agree with everything that they do say where? Clearly not, but it would just still be like really cool um, to get an opportunity to actually work with like one or two of them, that would be like really cool. Um, so this was like a really like close step to being able to like be hands-on in a company for one of my favorite YouTubers. Oh, I did forget like one thing. I had the interview in my car at Old Key West and um, I'll have to have Sherry tell you why Old Key West is like so special to us, but um, it's where I said my first words. It's a Disney vacation club resort and it's where like we would always go. So it's like so funny that I had a whole like conversation interview with like this woman that I follow her family and everything um, for so long, like interviewing me in the parking lot because I was, I was poolside and then I'm like, oh, it's time for my interview because we were doing like a little staycation uh, with my family and I. So around two o'clock I walked to my car and I had my interview in the car, which is so funny. Oh, and I also was thinking that the YouTuber was also going to be present for my interview, but that was not the case. So she was not in the interview. It was just her mom and the assistant at that time in the interview, like on the phone with me. Yeah, if you were wondering that, I did not like get to like speak to the YouTuber. I just spoke with her mom and then um, I didn't like bring up anything like personal. Like there was no like, oh, how's the dog? Or like, you know, congratulations, her daughter having her kids. So um, there was nothing like that. It was like pretty like 
professional and like everything like that. So if you guys were wondering if it like got any like personal, oh, I'm a fan or whatever, like no, it was like serious pretty much. Um, but they were all like so friendly and like really nice. Yeah, I think it would be like a really fun, cool company to work for. I definitely, if they were like, hey, do you want to like come move to the state and like work for us because like I found your resume? I'll be like, uh, yes, because it seems like they have positive vibes and energy. So definitely yes. I still love and shop from the brand, kind of like wearing the brand right now. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was just like a fun little memory I wanted to share with you guys. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.